I made a mistake in my last video about the book of many things. Game Master's here, and in the ending segment, I mentioned that wizards didn't cram extra fluff into this book, that there was no adventure, and I indicated that there were no player options, uh, no, no, no backgrounds or, or feats, or uh, suffice it to say I, I was wrong, and there are. <laughs> I took a much longer look through this book and realized that Wizards of the Coast got sneaky. I was really wanting a supplement book, and, and as I mentioned in the last video, I initially saw this as being exactly that, material that covered a specific subject, mainly the, the, the deck of many things. And it does cover that deck, that specific subject, but it also includes a whole lot more than just the cards. For example, Chapter 4 is all about the puzzle card, formerly known as the idiot, but not only does it give a highly detailed information uh, about how you can embellish the card's functions, it also provides all kinds of puzzles, riddles, and traps. And I'm talking about traps that would even make uh, Jigsaw um, blush. Balance and Run, for example, is a trap located in a hallway that spans 100 feet. Centered in it is a beam that looks to be about 6 inches wide. Under the beam are slowly moving bloodstained gears, <laughs> but at the end of the beam is a plate that if stepped on, causes the walls to emit a strong magnetic field, which in turn will pull the unprepared adventurer into those uh, bloodstained gears. Chapter 5, the, the gem card, and, and, and we briefly mentioned this in our uh, first look video, lists all of the magic items in the book and in what chapter they can be found in. Ranging from uncommon to rare to, to very rare to even legendary, there are almost 60 new magic items in all, like the Warrior's Passkey, which you can use to cast the Nox spell from, but while holding it, you can transform it into a magical longsword that grants plus one bonus to using it and deals 1d10 force damage. Now, in an unnamed chapter that doesn't actually exist in this book is the list of many things supporters and i cannot thank them enough they have contributed to this channel and i have made it so that i don't need to take on sponsored ads if you would like to become a patreon or youtube member and see your name on this list i'll leave a link down in the description in chapter 7, <laughs> The Sage. This is uh, the one that really got me to realize how wrong I was about this book. This chapter depicts the Cardomancer feat. In essence, they use cards as a focus for arcane power. At fourth level, you learn the Prestigitation spell and can create illusions that duplicate stage magic. But moreover, it's your handwork that uh, of the cards themselves that's the major thing here, as instead of using verbal and somatic components, it's the movement of the cards that acts as those. Plus, you can imbue one card with a spell that you can normally cast and then cast it from that card, which frees up a spell slot. And the uh, Spray of Cards spell is listed in here, along with a few other new spells. Backgrounds can be found in the Fates card, uh, Chapter 8, like the uh, Ruined. You may have at one point been uh, high and mighty, had fortune and fame, but you lost it all. Perhaps a, a dragon swooped in and, and destroyed your home. Perhaps you lost your fortune gambling. Regardless, you are now in ruins. But you know that if you work hard enough, you'll come out on top. After all, you have been on top before. You have skilled proficiency in stealth and survival, and have a feature called still standing. Basically, you've seen your fair share of bad times, but you've hidden the uh, you've got a hidden reserve that others don't see. As such, you gain the alert, uh, skilled, or or tough feat. Monsters pop up in almost every chapter of this book. For example, in chapter 18, which depicts the Void card, there is the Breath Drinker, a chaotic evil aberration that can heal when hit by radiant or necrotic damage, can turn invisible, and has a challenge rating of 14. Or the uh, Ruin Spider, which, found is, uh, which is found in chapter 21, and that is represented by the Talons card, uh, which is a spider that has been heavily influenced by the deck of many things and can spit acid, which can cause permanent damage to your weapons and armor, or it can wrap you in a web and just kind of munch down on you. There is so much more content that I went through after our initial thumb through in the last video, and I'm working on keeping all of the videos very topic specific, but I can assure you I've only scratched the surface of what all is in this book. There is even a fairly detailed history of the deck of many things as it appeared in the uh, and, and functioned in the Advanced Dungeons and Dragons book, then as it appeared in 3rd edition, then as it appeared in 4th edition, and how it appeared back in the beginning of 5th edition, and of course how it appears in, in this book. 
but also too how the DM can have it appear and function in the future as well. Yes, I'll be doing a full video just on that section of material alone. But again, that's just one video of many that I'll be doing in the near future. So that you don't miss it, be sure to bookmark this playlist as it's only going to grow as I add more content. What is an element about this book that you specifically want to know about? Let me know down in the comments. And until next our paths cross, may you not lose your fame and fortune.